Hi, this is Gino from Gino's Family. In this three minute video, I'm gonna show you how to fry chicken cutlets with your kids. Um, got Michael, Cecilia, and I got Gabriella here. I've got olive oil in this pan. It's um, regular virgin olive oil. I don't have extra virgin. I don't wanna use extra virgin, it's too expensive. The smoking point is not as high. Let's look at the type of pan that I have here. Um, I want the sides to be high, so when you throw the chicken in there, the oil will stay in, it won't splatter. Let me show you. See if the oil's hot. It's not hot yet. Not hot. You want really hot oil. You don't want to, you know, when you fry, you don't want the oil to be too high. You want the chicken to be submerged, but you don't really want to deep fry at home. Um, let me get this oil really hot. I'm going to put the chicken in right now. I'm going to grab it with a fork. Uh, this is the piece of chicken tender that I had. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it, I'm going to throw it away from myself. And I don't want to crowd the plate because I don't want to drop the temperature of the oil too much. So I'll put two pieces and I'll put maybe a third. This one's a little bit big. I'll get this little smaller piece. Just throw it away. Look how nice and golden that is. That looks great, guys, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put the fork down. I'm gonna use a pair of tongs just to move it around. I have a plate here, guys, um, with a napkin. So when I take this chicken out, I'm gonna put it on that plate and that napkin is gonna get the excess oil off the chicken. And as you can see, this is cooking really nice. You want it to get golden on both sides. The heat, the hot oil, will allow it to saute quick and you won't soak up that extra oil if, you, if the oil is cold. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now, the fact that we tenderized it in the previous video, we made it really thin. It's cooking really fast and it's cooking even. You see how nice and even that is? Now what you can do is if you have chicken at home and you're frying it at home and it's starting to burn, turn the toaster oven on, put it on at 400 degrees. When you have it cooked like that, if you don't think it's cooked on the inside, just put it in the toaster oven for five minutes and it'll cook all the way through. But this chicken is really gonna, is really gonna cook well right in the pan. See that? That's stay on that side. So let me keep it on this side. And this one also. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna keep it on this side. This chicken's cooking for about two minutes on each side. Let me just dredge the oil. I'm gonna put it on the napkin. Okay. Just dredge a little bit more of that oil. Now for the second batch, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the oil heat up just for another 10 or 15 seconds, and then I'm gonna let Michael put these two pieces of chicken in. Go ahead, Mike's. You can use a fork if you want. Bring it close to the plate. No, nice and easy. Away from you. Excellent. Do the other one. Excellent, Michael. So we're gonna let that fry. So this is cooking right now. We're gonna let it cook for like another minute. And what I'm gonna show you is, this is the key to a nice chicken cutlet. See how nice and thin this is? This is cooked evenly, it's cooked quickly, and it's retained its uh, juiciness. Now, this chicken cutlets, what I like to do with the kids is I like to get a little bit of lemon, squeeze a little bit of lemon on them, and then we can eat them as a treat. That's what we're gonna do with this one. Uh, in the next video that we shoot, I'm gonna show you what else we can use these chicken cutlets for. We'll see you there.